concert. It's Men's Health Month. It's a perfect reminder of all men watching, make your health a priority. That includes staying up to date with those checkups at the doctors. And my next guests are a business owner, entrepreneur, and a judge. They share their health journeys with me. So, guys, we're here to talk about health. First of all, congratulations. Thank you, brother. We are glad that you are here and alive. Man, me and you both. Absolutely. <laughs> For those who don't know, what did you go through, Judge Fields? So, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer back in December, late, uh, late November, early December. And after that, it was a bunch of tests and trying to figure out which is the best way to go, how early or late they caught it. Uh, it hadn't spread into my lymph nodes. It was early on in the process. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was growing slowly. So I did a process called brachytherapy at Methodist uh, mm -hmm. with the Dr. Farish, and it worked out perfectly. It's a one day in, one day out procedure, which is something different than what my dad had when mm -hmm. he got diagnosed with prostate cancer. Oh gosh, it was 30 years ago. I mean, they're still doing brachytherapy, but it's completely different mm -hmm. now. Now, did you learn that you had cancer as a result of some of the symptoms, or did you do preventative? That's a good question. No, you know, I do No Shave November, so mm -hmm. every November I go in and I get the full run of tests, uh, and over the course of three years, my PSA level, it was still normal, but it was climbing by, you know, double each year, mm -hmm. at which point my doctor said, hey, we need to check this out, and boom, mm -hmm. cancer. Now, you're one of the rare ones where you go to the doctor, but we all must admit a lot of men just simply won't go to the doctor, and they'll ignore the symptoms, Jermaine, right? Definitely. I know I need to go. <laughs> uh, what do you think it is about the doctor or going to get the medical help you need or just a checkup that prevents you from doing that? Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fear of... Like, what could I have? Or, yeah, you know the fear saying? of the unknown. So, yeah, so I think that's that's why it steers a lot of people from going, especially men, from going to the doctor. So it's definitely that fear factor of it, of not knowing what I have. Now, Mike, you're an MMA fighter. <laughs> but you still have your skills. Uh, I still got some. Uh, do you have any fear of going to the doctor or getting checked out? Uh, like you said, there's, there's a little stigma with it. You know, getting checked up, we don't know what we're going to have. Like outside, I look healthy, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff inside that you don't know. Uh -huh. And um, a recent friend of mine had an uh, issue uh, where he had a colonoscopy, and then um, they found something. And I believe they did cancer and you know, possibly moving. Uh, 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 certain items in there that I like, man, I, I, that kind of scared me, and I went and scheduled mine, had mine done the whole entire time, and I was just at night time Googling, like, hey, my symptoms, anything that's, you know, <laughs> Well, you know doctors say, yeah. never Google. <laughs> Stay away <laughs> from yeah. Google. Yeah, I, I went and had it done, and thank God nothing <laughs> Because so. if you Google, you have a sore throat, by the end of the day, you're dying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what if fear is enough sometimes to push people to get that test before it's too late? Whatever whatever it is that motivates you to get a test, look, you can't keep your, your tennis shoes cleaner than you keep your body mm -hmm. at the end of the day. You know, you need to take care of yourself as well as you take care of your house, your car, and your business. You got to get to the doctor, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you who got me going to the doctor regularly. It's my wife. Mm -hmm. You know, she was like, "Look, I go every year for well women's exams. We got to go through mammograms and Pap smears and all of these things, and you're afraid of going and getting some blood work, you know, and and a digital rectal mm -hmm. uh, if they still do that someplace other than my doctor." And I, <laughs> he likes me. You know? but, but look, you know, you got to get your exams, you got to get your colonoscopy, you got to get the work done. Uh -huh. And so was that enough, uh, obviously that was enough from your wife to motivate you. It was, it was. Because, uh, you know, we've been together since 86. Mm -hmm. We got a pretty good thing going, and we're still young. Mm -hmm. uh, and everything now is almost curable mm -hmm. if you just get to it soon enough. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there that can really knock you for a loop, but most of the things that we're finding in the black community, high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, stroke risk, that can be caught. Mm -hmm. That can be caught and dealt with with medicines or simple surgeries if you get to the doctor and get it soon enough. Jermaine, what do you think it will take for you to get to the doctor, do that annual checkup? Just hearing Mike's story I definitely inspired me to definitely want to go check that out because, uh, you know, I think I, I'm fairly healthy. I eat clean. I go, I work out religiously and I figured, all right, I'm in tip-top good health. But you're right. It's just like a car. Like, your car 
get it look good on the outside, but then you have so much underlying stuff that are going on the inside. So the same way you got to do look at that, you got to look at that in your body as well too. So I appreciate you. I'm definitely yeah. gonna go look, make my appointment. This wearing black in the heat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. right. That's, really yours, That's healthy. Okay. <laughs> and Mike, what about some of your friends? Once you start doing it, do you reach out to yes, your brothers out there? Yeah. Not not necessarily your your siblings, but yeah. your friends, your brothers out there. I mean, my cousins walk through the door when they're on my age. I tell them same thing. Hey, go get it checked out, bro. Mm -hmm. You want to you want to you want to find out early if anything detected. You know, mm -hmm. maybe you didn't find it great, but if you find and and for many men it's just like I'm not supposed to get sick I have to be the pillar in my community the pillar in my house I'm holding the world up and I can't be sick right and that doesn't stop you from getting sick right. uh, waiting just make sure that when you find out you're too sick to fix mm -hmm. uh, and and so the question that I have to ask myself as, as a man with two children bills to pay, how bad off do I want to get before I take care of my family by taking care of me? It's a simple thing to do. Go to the doctor, get the blood work, get the tests, especially if you're in that group of people who are more prone to have diets that don't work out well for mm -hmm. blood pressure and cholesterol. And, and I've got a family history of cancer. My father had uh, prostate cancer and my brother had colon cancer. This is a family affair, so mm -hmm. for me to ignore it is begging for trouble. All right. Well, we're glad you're here. We're glad you're, you, you're, you're alive <laughs> and healthy, Judge. And we thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor on Sensei. We appreciate your time.